Welcome back to our channel, where we explore the teachings of the Bible and how they apply to our lives today. In this video, we'll uncover the devil's cunning tactics to seduce us through false idols and new age practices like praying to the universe, using tarot cards, and the law of attraction. We'll also discuss how the Bible warns us against these practices and reminds us to pray to the creator of all things. Let's dive in. Section 1. Praying to the Universe, a Deceptive Trap The idea of praying to the universe may seem harmless, but it's actually a deceptive trap set by the devil. By convincing us to put our faith in the universe instead of God, the devil is leading us away from the true path. God is the creator of all things, including the universe, so praying to the universe is essentially praying to something God created, rather than the creator himself. This can weaken our relationship with God and make us more susceptible to the devil's influence. Section 2. Tarot Cards and the Law of Attraction, the Devil's Tools for Divination and Self-Reliance Tarot cards and the Law of Attraction are other New Age practices that the devil uses to lure us away from God. By using tarot cards, we're engaging in divination, a practice that the Bible explicitly warns against. The Law of Attraction, on the other hand, promotes the idea that we can manifest our desires through positive thinking and visualization, leading to a dangerous sense of self-reliance and a weakened faith in God. The devil uses these practices to make us believe that we can control our own destiny, rather than trusting in God's plan for our lives. Section 3. The Power of Prayer, Our Defense Against the Devil's Seduction To resist the devil's seductive tactics, we must turn to the power of prayer. The Bible encourages us to pray to God, the Creator of all things, for guidance and support. Philippians 4 and 6 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving present your requests to God. By praying to God, we can find peace and guidance in our lives, without falling prey to the devil's false idols and new age practices. Section 4. Strengthening our relationship with God, our best defense. The best defense against the devil's seduction is to strengthen our relationship with God, the creator of all things. By reading the Bible, attending worship services, and engaging in fellowship with other believers, we can deepen our understanding of God's love and his plan for our lives. This strong foundation of faith will help us resist the allure of new age practices and keep us focused on the true path. Section 5. Recognizing the dangers of New Age Practices It's important to recognize the dangers of New Age practices like praying to the universe, using tarot cards, and the law of attraction. These practices may seem harmless or even beneficial, but they ultimately lead us away from God and into the devil's grasp. By being aware of these dangers, we can make informed decisions about our spiritual practices and stay true to our faith in God. Conclusion In conclusion, the devil uses false idols and new age practices to seduce us and lead us away from God. By praying to the creator of all things and strengthening our relationship with him, we can resist these temptations and stay on the true path. Remember, God is our ultimate source of guidance, support, and love, and he is always there for us, no matter what challenges we face. Thank you for joining us today, and may God bless you on your spiritual journey.